what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley for those who are new here hello and welcome and for all of my returning subscribers hey so today I wanted to share with you guys what I will be starting in these Jiffy seed starting pea pellets I think that these guys are such a great resource so I wanted to share with you guys today just how I'm choosing to use them in my garden this year so typically everything that it takes to get seeds going can really be messy it can get expensive like having to purchase trays purchase bottom watering reservoirs and all of that sort of thing i feel like these pea pellets like really just take all of that fussiness out of it um what is so great about these like literally you can this box is 32 peat pellets and they typically run about like I want to say maybe I paid about four dollars for it I don't want to I know that I didn't pay over four dollars for these guys but um I think they're a really good resource if you want to save a little space save a little bit of money and you know that you're going to be transplanting things out fast that's what I find these work for the, the best um if you plant things that grow fast or maybe needs to start a little bit longer indoors you'll end up having to up pot these into like a bigger pot so i don't really suggest like starting like tomatoes or cucumbers or even like zucchini or something like that in these guys not unless you're literally just starting them like two weeks before your last frost date and you know that you're going to transplant them right out you just want to give it a bit of a head start but anything that's like fast growing like that that requires like four plus weeks to get started indoors maybe you want to reserve that for like a bigger cell tray situation but for things like what we're going to be sewing today is absolutely perfect first of all they are so cool to me because like you literally start off this small and they expand up to this size so already like i mean do do we see where we're going here so i went on ahead and i pre-soaked the ones that i will be using today this is about 35 um, yeah, 35 pea pellets. And we will be getting started some early spring greens. Now, all of the varieties that I'm showing you today, you can plant out before your last frost, which is key with this whole situation because again, these things don't need to stay in these pots very long because they will be transplanted out in the matter of, I would say, four weeks or so. So, Let's go through the varieties. All of these seeds here are from Survival Garden Seeds. Um, they kindly sent these seeds to me last year for me to check them out and share with my viewers. So if you want more information, I will leave all the links down in the comment section below, or not comment section, the description, as well as a coupon code. So go and enjoy that. So first things first, spinach. Spinach, of course, is super frost hardy. Um, so I will be sowing two different varieties here. I have Bloomsdale and Veriflay. These you can actually direct sow, but for me, because I want a little bit of a head start, I'm starting these in these pea pellets. Um, next up, of course, lettuce, and I have three different varieties of lettuce. I have a Romaine type, which is the Paris Island. I have Butter Crunch, which is like a loose leaf lettuce. And then I have Lola Rosa, which I mean, look at the color on that. But this is also, yeah, like a loose leaf lettuce situation. And then of course, arugula. And I'm not even gonna try to say the exact variety, but these are like more spicy, bitter greens. So we're gonna have like a nice little salad bowl situation and I will be putting all of these in my green stock. So I'm really excited about that as well. So let's go on ahead and get these planted up and I will show you how I plan to position these. Oh my, somebody's not happy. Let me get down to business.
All right, so this last thing, I am going to sew some beads. And this is just out of sheer curiosity and I kind of miscalculated like how many sales I got ha that I have set up here. Um, I've never tried to start beet seeds in these little peat pellets before, but I assume that it'll be all right. What do you, what do you guys think? These don't go on the heating pad. I know I sat them there at first, but I just needed to shift some things around. So not on the heating pad, you guys. Uh -uh. That's a no-no. All right, so we got those all up underneath the grow lights over there. And what I like to do instead of sticking like little markers in those pea pellets, usually I don't do anything long, larger or I don't do a round larger than the size that I just did. Um, what I like to do is the order that I sow the seeds, I lay the seed, seed packets out and I just snap a picture of it. And then I also record that in my planner. That way, worst comes to worst, if I accidentally throw or delete the photo, I know that I have written record of all the varieties that I sowed in those, in those pellets and I can always try to figure it out that way. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys what I use these specifically for. So if you guys have used these before, let us know down in the comment section, what else do you like to use these for? Have you used them for herbs at all? I would love to hear. I've already mentioned, I've also started flowers in these guys. I think last year, if you look at some of my seed starting stuff, then you will see that I use these guys. I just really love them. I'm a, a huge fan of this and it just, it helps you use less resources if you're not like wanting to invest just a whole lot or you just run out of space and you just want to start some things really quick. These are amazing. So that wraps up this video. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hopefully you gained some inspiration here. If you did, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I do all things garden, planner, and lifestyle related. Hope that you all enjoyed. I thank you all so much. I think I said that a billion times now. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.